Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a pregnancy update for you and it is for my second trimester. I'm actually only halfway through, 21 weeks and one day. The baby's as big as a large banana. Yeah, it looks like we're pretty much bang in the middle of the second trimester. Yeah, about another seven weeks left in the second trimester, so still a way to go. But I wanted to just do an update today of what I've been experiencing so far, but also being pregnant during a pandemic. And I kind of just wanted to like, just chat and give you guys an update and I thought I may as well update you throughout the second trimester. I don't know how much is gonna change between now and the end of it, but really I just wanted to come and chat with you guys about being pregnant at the moment and open the conversation for anyone else that's going through this as well, because I've been talking a little bit about it on Instagram and it's been so nice to connect with so many other women that are at different stages, some are at the same stage as me, some have given birth, some are have just found out, but it's so nice to talk with other pregnant women or mothers during this time. It's very, very different to what any of us planned at this point in our journey. So I guess I'll start off with picking up where we left off from the first trimester. If any of you watched that video, I did a pregnancy announcement and I kind of vlogged my first three months. Slightly up and down, but generally, if I talk about symptoms and changes, I really feel like up until this point in my pregnancy, I've been very, very lucky. I haven't really experienced any particularly extreme symptoms that I've heard so many other women experience, like awful morning sickness, tiredness, hormonal, emotional, aches and pains, just not really being able to function in the same way. I feel really lucky because I've not really had that up until now. That could change, who knows. But in all honesty, for the majority of my pregnancy, especially now, if it wasn't for the fact that my belly was growing, I wouldn't even know I was pregnant. I feel no different. In the first trimester, I definitely struggled with feeling nauseous and the biggest thing for me was my appetite. I just was not really interested in food. I went completely off it. All I wanted to eat was beige, carbs, pasta, chips, bread, any potato-based white starchy carb I would eat. But food was not particularly exciting and it was more a chore, I, I just had to eat. So it did get to the point where every time it was time to eat, I'd be like, oh God, what am I gonna eat? And I was just eating to survive, I just wasn't enjoying food. That has completely gone and I now enjoy all food and a much healthier diet and a much more varied diet, which is great. Because that was, I wouldn't say it was getting me down, but I did struggle with that. Because when it just goes on and on and you never have really much of an appetite and there's nothing you really feel like eating, especially fresh fruit and fresh veg and anything that's not a starchy carb, that can get quite trying after a while. And also, you you know, you want to be as healthy as possible. That was probably the toughest thing for me, but now since I think towards the end of my first trimester and definitely all the way through the second, appetite has been uh, wonderful. I, I eat everything. And on that same note, I don't really have any particular cravings or aversions to anything. Again, I know some people really can. I haven't been drinking coffee. I haven't felt like drinking coffee and generally you should try and steer away from caffeine. I do have a cup of tea now and again, but that would be the only thing that I would say I don't feel like having. Everything else I'm completely fine with. Equally, I don't really have any cravings. No, there's nothing that I've been eating lots of in particular throughout being pregnant. I've just eaten pretty much what I would always have eaten had I not been pregnant. And then things like feeling super tired or super emotional. Again, in the first trimester, I was kind of tired, but I'm generally quite a tired person anyway. And in the second trimester, generally people say it's the one where you feel the best and you get your energy back and you feel much more normal. I definitely feel normal. And I, yeah, in terms of everything, I don't feel like I'm any more tired than I would usually be, that I'm lacking in energy any more than I usually would. Obviously it's a very unique time because we're not leaving the house. So I feel quite sluggish and I wake up groggy, but I think that's more because of the situation rather than me being pregnant. I'm trying to exercise as much as I can 
I'm not out and about as much as I would normally be. Um, so we've been going for our walks and then I have also been doing a couple of workouts via YouTube. One is with Helen who has a channel called HMF Yoga and she's amazing, she also has an Instagram. She did a pregnancy specific yoga flow um, on her YouTube channel and I've been doing that and it's really, really good. So I highly recommend her, I'll link her channel below. I've also been doing, I can't remember what the channel's called, but I found some pregnancy specific cardio workouts because I felt like I wanted to just move a bit more um, and they are really, really good. So I will find, I can't remember the videos, but I will put them down below. And another thing that's really, not crazy, but because it would, it makes sense, but the, the way that I've changed in terms of headspace from when I found out to now, it really feels like it's whizzed by, but at the same time, it does feel like finding out and like we went to Istanbul when I, just after we found out I was pregnant, telling people, like going and staying with my mum in February, like that, that all seems like ages ago. And obviously so much has happened and we're in such a different place than we thought we'd be right now. Um, so it does feel like everything that's happened was a long time ago, but, but at the same time I am like, holy shit, I'm halfway through my pregnancy, this is mad. And I think specifically being pregnant and being in a pandemic, I think the biggest thing that I have been aware of is time. I've mentioned before in some vlogs that time was already really precious this year for me in every aspect, working, doing things, seeing family, going away, making plans, just because there was things that I wanted to make sure I did as just me before the baby came and before things would be a little bit more difficult, like just jump on the train and go down to my mum's or down to my sister's, go for dinner with friends at the drop of a hat and and also just people seeing me becoming more pregnant. I know that that's something that my mum is struggling with and me as well with my family. Like it's so sad that I can't be with them, especially now, and I'll show you the bump shortly. Now that I have changed so much in my size, that's really sad not to be sharing with people. And I'm very hopeful that I will be able to share that at some point with them. But that's the biggest thing that's been a struggle for me is not having that normal experience of pregnancy with other people around me. I obviously have my partner, but it just has taken everything, it's kind of dulled everything slightly. I mentioned in my vlog last week, I had my 20 week scan uh, last week, which is also why I wanted to do this video because I wanted to wait for the scan to just make sure everything was fine. But it was only then that I really acknowledged how much of a struggle being pregnant at this time is. Because up until then I hadn't really felt too affected by it. We're healthy, we're lucky and fortunate enough to be able to stay indoors. Financially we should be okay. Um, it's annoying because obviously for me I wanted to work as much as possible before having the baby in September but it's the way that it is. There's nothing that's particularly difficult in that sense. But it was when the hospital called me and said my partner wasn't able to come to the scan and I that really upset me and I know that it's just a scan and if it was any normal life, I mean he could have been working and not been able to come to the scan and I know so many people that have said to me, oh my husband was, was parking and he completely missed the scan and that could have happened and it wouldn't have been a problem. But it was just because I was being told you can't have that opportunity, it just made me really sad and acknowledge how shit this is. And I can only imagine what it would be like if you have just given birth and you can't be with your family. Those first few weeks, it must be so difficult. So I really, my heart really goes out to anyone that's dealing with that now. And as I say, I am hopeful that we will be able to be slightly more normal, hopefully over the summer. <laughs> that has made things a real struggle and I just can't help but consciously be aware of what we're being robbed of as pregnant people. It's like, yes, <clears throat> it's shit for everyone and any plans that you have are all on hold. But those plans can be picked up. Pregnancy and childbirth is not something that can be put on hold. It just keeps going. And I think equally if you have any precious time that you have with a loved one, like say you have a family member that was terminally ill or anything like that. I don't want to go down too dark a road here, but anything that's time sensitive in that way, 
this is just so cruel because I'm still growing, I'm still pregnant, this is still happening and everyone, it, I'm missing out on so much and I will never ever get this time back. Had I not been pregnant, I, I wouldn't be dwelling on that so much because I can make up for it when we come out of this but I can't make up for this and that's really, as I say, just just really just upsetting. I, f I want to just make sure that I've covered everything. As I say, I've still got a good chunk of the second trimester to go. Things might change. Oh, the bump, that's what I was gonna show you. So that's probably one of the biggest changes that I can see and that is growing. <laughs> I feel like for the first trimester and for quite a long time, you know that you're kind of putting on weight but you just feel bloated and things are becoming a bit more snug. Now I'm at the point where things do not fit. I'm still wearing like my crop top bras. I'm, I never really wear bras. Had I had to go to work, if I go out in public and I need to be appropriate, I would need to wear a bra now. Because also my nipples are so big. <laughs> That's another thing. So my boobs themselves, I don't feel like they've got particularly bigger. I feel like they're fuller. But it's the nip game that has really changed. And so to just be decent, I would need to wear a bra. But around the house and in lockdown, I can carry on wearing my Calvin Klein crops or my fabric crops that I get from Urban Outfitters. They're still really comfortable. I'm kind of spilling, not spilling out, but yes, I can see that I might need to get a bigger size in some of them, but I don't feel particularly massive or huge. I just feel fuller, which is actually quite nice. I'd quite like them to stay this size. But yeah, my nips are much bigger and they feel quite sensitive. Sometimes they actually hurt. Um, if I don't wear a bra and I just wear a t-shirt, I can't, like, that fabric just clean on the nip is not very comfortable. But yes, my actual changing size has become an issue and nothing else really fits anymore. I have to wear everything with an elasticated waist. My joggers that I used to wear pretty much all the time when I was at home are too, are like, it's too much pressure on my stomach now. So the saving grace has been leggings. I bought a few pairs of leggings from Primark just before we went into lockdown because I knew that I would need something. Um, and then these trousers that I'm wearing now from Uniqlo have been an absolute lifesaver. I've shown them before on a vlog. But I'll now show you the bump. I don't know, hopefully you can see. So I'm not going to get my naked belly out. Yeah, here we are. There's the bump. That's kind of the big chunk of it there. So this seems to be growing like day by day. And, and then these are the trousers from Uniqlo. So they were like £12. They've got an elasticated waist. They're really soft. The most comfortable things that you can ever own so if you are in pregnancy and you're getting bigger get a pair of these because you will not regret it but yes i am getting bigger by the day it feels like someone asked me on instagram how do i feel about my body changing i don't actually feel too bad about it because i just feel like it's my 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 belly that's changing i do think i've put weight on my hips slightly and my thighs but not particularly anywhere else at the moment and I actually don't mind it because whereas before <laughs> with my stomach I would feel a bit jiggly because now I'm very much pregnant you're, it's quite tight so it doesn't look it actually looks fine so I don't really mind it at all so yeah I don't feel too bad at the moment about how my body's changing we'll cross the bridge of post labour once we get there <laughs> but at the moment I don't feel too bad but yeah I feel like I've kind of covered everything if anyone has any questions, then feel free to put them down below. I may do a pregnancy Q&A video or something like that. Um, and if there's any other kind of pregnancy related videos that you'd like to see, then let me know. I am planning to do like a come shopping with me because of the situation. This is the exact time that I would like to start going to shops and looking at things. I feel like that's another thing that's happened throughout these past few weeks. I've really just ramped up a gear in terms of being interested in looking at baby things and deciding on the kind of things I want, the colour schemes. I even ordered a couple of picture frames the other day uh, to go in the baby's room, which is just our spare room, which we're kind of keeping as a spare room, but I'll talk more about that um, at a later date. But I'm very much into looking at baby things now. I've put a list together. So this is when I would like to do a shopping video and go and look at things, but obviously I can't do that. So I think I might do like a come, a virtual come shopping with me and start talking about the things that I think I will need for the first few weeks and the stuff that I'm interested in. So I'm planning to do that. And then I might do the baby names 
I love but aren't planning to use video. I don't know if that's of interest to anyone. But if there's any other pregnancy videos you want to see, then let me know. If you have just found me because you yourself are recently pregnant, then welcome. Um, and please subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, I feel like I've kind of covered everything. I'd love you to also join me on Instagram. I'm doing a bit more on Instagram. I don't love Instagram as a platform, especially now because I don't love taking pictures of myself, but I'm trying to be a bit more active on there specifically at this time and talking about baby things and pregnancy. So I would love you to join me over there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Mwah.